by 2025, the level of treated water on the coastland will increase to 90% in keeping with the government's 2021 to 2025 strategic plan. Billions of dollars have been invested into the sector to achieve this objective. This was on the line by Minister of Housing and Water, Colin Cruel, on the program Guyana Dialogue last Thursday. Government has committed resources to increase the level of potable water on the coastland. For treated water, and this is from between regions 2 to 6, and then Bartica proper, region 7. We have invested, we have committed for this year alone, we have $9 billion for treatment plants on this year's budget alone. The overall budget to bring the overall budget to bring the treated water on the coastland to a level of minimum 90 to 95 percent is about 25 billion dollars so that's we know what is our macro plan so that's a major thing that we're focusing on on for the next uh, two years the 847 million dollars water treatment plant at perica east bank as equivalent will provide service to 12,000 residents from ruby all the way to st lawrence when completed in 2024. six other treatment plants are now being built in addition to the one at perica these include under naming la parfait harmony wales caledonia Bachelor's Adventure and Cummins Lodge. Some 12 current treatment plants are being updated and construction of transmission and distribution lines across the coastline has begun. Some 12 current treatment plants are being updated and construction on transmission and distribution lines across the coastline has begun. Close to $200 million was invested to complete the Echoes Well, while $2 billion is being expended to complete ongoing works at the treatment plant there. Several water treatment plants are set to be upgraded soon in Region 5.